On the left hand side is the book pane um, menu bar and again I'm going to be able to see the layout of the contents of my book. They are going to be laid out by chapter, by section, and by pages. So pages are embedded under sections, sections are embedded under chapters. Um, I can see that I'm working in chapter one here because I have this yellow frame around that chapter. I can choose to select a different section. I'll be working in section one or specifically on page three of section one. So notice here, uh, these small index numbers are the page numbers of my actual book. So if I wanted to go to page five, I can see page five corresponds to the index number over here in my book pane window bar. I can uh, select a chapter and I can reorganize chapters simply by grabbing the entire chapter and moving it down. You'll notice that iBooks Author will automatically recalculate the chapter number by the sequence it appears. Uh, if I wanted to add a section, you'll notice that there's uh, one section here in chapter one. I can simply come up here to the add pages and I'm going to add a section. So I'll just add a section text and you'll see that it automatically drops it in here at the bottom of chapter one. So I'm just going to click on that and say add image and you'll notice that again that blue box means that it's hot linked and it changes the name of that section. If I wanted to add a page to that section I have the section highlighted and I come down here to pages and I'm going to add a blank page. It embeds that blank page under that section that I had highlighted. I can also add another chapter. So simply by going up here to add pages, choose a chapter, and it's going to put that chapter under the chapter that I currently had selected. I'm just going to change the title, and you'll notice the blue box means that it's hot linked, and you can see down here that adding content was the name of this chapter, and it automatically changed when I added the con uh, when I added the text up here. I can uh, continue to add sections. Let's say I'm going to add a few sections to this um, chapter. And if I wanted to add a few pages to each one of those sections, I can go ahead and highlight each one of those individual sections and add a few pages. Again, kind of make notice of um, the different highlighting or the, the different boxes, the different frames that are being highlighted in yellow there. If I want to change the outlook of that um, particular page, that I have selected, I can always hit these drop down menus and I can change it to two columns instead of one column. Now let's say I wanted to come here and change this from two columns to three columns. And you'll notice that it automatically will change that 